But first, one of our most unique guests who has one of the most unique museums in existence. Leila Cohoon, who owns Leila's Hair Museum, is here. You own the only hair museum in the world. And you Correct. brought some of your specimens and some of your pieces of art in studio to show us today. Thank you. Yes. I How would... did you start collecting hair art? <clears throat> I'm a hairdresser. I started dressing hair in 1949 uh -huh. and 1956 found my first piece of hair art. Uh, it's in the museum. It's just a small piece, but I bought it instead of my Easter shoes. You did? And my husband says it's the most expensive piece in the whole place because look what it started. Wow. I mean, it started quite a bit. You brought some of some items here. What is this? And explain how this is all made out of hair. And whose hair is it? That I don't know, but I, I have had it for several years uh -huh. hanging in my home. And I found out just recently through an article in an old magazine that it's a test that somebody would have to do to make this in order to go to work for somebody who had hair uh, where they made things. Really? And so I didn't know that it was a test. This is a picture of a Christmas tree made of hair from a seven-year-old girl. Yes. That you have. Tell us about this one. It's the first time uh, some ladies came down from Nebraska uh -huh. and they told me about this. It's in a museum up there and it's a Christmas tree. Oh. I had never seen a Christmas tree done with hair. And this little girl was seven when this man made this out of her hair. A lot of people don't know that hair art or artwork made from hair is even a thing or was a thing. You say that mostly stopped in the Victorian age. Why yes. did people stop making artwork like this out of hair? Unfortunately, women learned to drive cars and they didn't stay home anymore. That was unfortunate, you think? <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it's it's, this, yeah. this hair art almost died out. And you're preserving it. Yes, I teach classes in it now and um, there are 37 people in the United States and one lady from London that came over for class. These are some of the pieces of artwork. When you say you teach people, are you teaching regular people how to make art out of their own hair? Are, are these hair sculptures you're teaching people how to make? Yes, and uh, there's 36 techniques to make everything that's in the museum. I'm adding one more, 37, because uh, I just discovered another one the other day. And I could teach 32 of those 36 techniques. The 37th one, I just figured it out a couple of weeks ago. On your and own? On you my just own. invented it? You just figured out? Well, that's the way it's always been. Yeah. I wrote my first book, The Directions How to Make These. It only took me 60 years. The first <laughs> 36, yeah. uh, I signed up and learned how to do all the other art forms. And it's not like any of the others. These are incredibly rare pieces. In fact, you're wearing several items of jewelry made yes. from hair that you have collected, including a beautiful pendant here. I want to hold this up and see if Doug can get a close shot of this. Tell us about the hair in this pendant. That was painted with hair in 1700. They're called sepias. Uh -huh. And when you cut hair, uh, you pulverize it. That means that you cut for 10 or 15 minutes and then they mixed it with paint and they painted these scenes. Do you get nervous wearing things of such value and from so long ago? No, you, I'm you nervous if I don't have it on. You, you are. It's like you're, you said there was a woman that came up to you though and said, you're never supposed to wear something that, that old. That was in London at the Albert and Victoria Museum. Uh, she, she had a fit because I had on a 1700 piece. And your motto is, if you got it, flaunt it? Why not? I want to show this. This is fascinating, and this is what's really interesting is Leila just pulled this out of her purse, and she almost didn't, you almost didn't show this as part of your display. What am I holding here? Um, in the museum, I have two reliquaries with Mary's hair, mother of Jesus. But my favorite is Jesus' grandmother, Anna. And this is Anna's hair. In Jesus' that grandma's hair is in this. Yes, it How do says, you know that? Anna. It says so. But did you buy it from it's someone a, and said, here are the papers? It's a reliquary and I have all the papers. How yes. much is it worth? Priceless. All of these are priceless. There's no way you can replace anything. Thank you for doing this and thank you for bringing your artwork to share with us. Leila 
from Leila's Hair Museum in Independence, Missouri. Are you open five days a week? What are your hours? Uh, Sunday and Monday I'm closed. The okay. rest of the time, 9.30 to 4.30. And you can go and you can learn how to make your own hair art. This is fascinating. So nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank it's you. really wonderful. If you can't find something that you like,